Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio. I'm a lecturer at Cornell University, and this video is an abbreviated version of my longer Zoom tutorial for students that is just going to go over all of the different view controls because I think this is the most confusing part for many people. So if you've been in a meeting and heard a phrase like, oh, go to speaker view and pin the video, and you have no idea what that means, this video is for you. Now, when you first load Zoom, you will probably see pictures of everybody about equal size like this, and this is called gallery view. And this can work well for a meeting or maybe a small discussion-based class, but odds are, if you're a student attending a traditional class or a lecture, you really just wanna see a big picture of the teacher and not tiny thumbnails of all the students. So to get to that, you can go to the upper right and switch to speaker view, which will give you one large video in the middle and a list of smaller thumbnails across the top. Now, Zoom will do its best to show whoever is currently talking here. So if you have somebody who forgot to mute their microphone and it's picking up a lot of background noise, it might show them here instead of the teacher. So to make sure you're seeing the teacher, in this case, Mr. Moose is the meeting host, he's the one teaching the class, you can right click on their video and select pin video. That will make them bigger on your screen even if somebody else talks. So odds are, if you're attending an online class, the instructor might be sharing their screen somehow, either showing PowerPoint slides or writing on a tablet. So for example, we're going to have Mr. Moose share a PowerPoint file here. And you can see that automatically changed my view to what's called side-by-side -side mode, where I have a slider that I can click and drag to change the relative size of these two windows. Now, I can still switch back to gallery view here if I want to see everyone instead of just Mr. Moose by clicking gallery view in the upper right. I can also exit side-by-side -side mode completely by clicking on view options and unchecking side-by-side -side mode. That will bring me back to this view where I have the PowerPoint screen large in the middle and the smaller thumbnails across the top. So again, that's highly customizable, but can be kind of confusing. There are even more options. I have a button to swap shared screen with video. So when I'm not in side-by-side -side mode, I don't have a slider. I can't click and drag to resize these, but if I want to swap them, so Mr. Moose is big and the PowerPoint is small, I can click that button. What you have to be careful about here is if you unpin the teacher's video, now it's going to show Elmo automatically here, and you can see I've lost Mr. Moose. I don't have all of the thumbnails across the top and I don't have a gallery view button to switch back so I can see everyone. So if this happens and you lose track of the teacher, you have to switch back to the shared content, and then it will give you the gallery view and you can repin Mr. Moose. Again, highly customizable, but if you're clicking around a lot, it's easy to kind of lose track of the video you want. Now for everything we've done so far, Zoom has not been in full screen mode. So for example, if I open the chat window, it becomes docked in my main Zoom window However, if I go into full screen mode, you'll see that my chat window disappeared. And if I go to open it again, it is now in this separate little floating window that I can drag around. The same goes for this window with the thumbnails in it, which I can minimize, show a single thumbnail, or show multiple thumbnails. So unless you have two monitors and you can drag these floating windows over to the second monitor, which you can't see here because I'm only recording on one, I generally wouldn't recommend using full screen mode because these windows will be covering part of what you want to see and they can be hard to find. For example, if I minimize the chat window, it actually disappears completely and I have to go back down to the bottom menu to open it. So if you find yourself in full screen mode by accident and you can't find your controls or different windows, go up to the top, go to view options and click exit full screen and that will bring you back to the regular view. So I hope you found that useful if you're a student using Zoom. If you have a question or a request for another tutorial, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks.